right, so we've brought the channels onto the surface. Now we need to bust them out, okay? So we have a bus assign key on every fader strip or channel strip. I select the bus assign, and you'll see here on the Vistonic display, I can see my buses. There's my mix minus, there's my group, there's my masters. And in order to select your uh, output bus, you just touch. Now I'm going out stereo bus 4. Now I'm going out stereo bus 3. Or I can just roll over across and deselect. Now I can go to the you know, next channel, which is anchor 1, and I can say, OK, I want them to go to stereo bus 4. And I can do that so on and so forth. But an easier way to assign all the buses is you can engage what we call linking. So I hold down the link button. I select um, the row of faders. So you can see they're all linked right now. And I say, OK, I want all of these faders to go to stereo bus 1 and maybe group bus stereo 1. And I will hit link again to release it. So they're all separate now. And now if I go into every bus assigned page, we can see we're assigned to stereo 1 on the, uh, on the channels. So it makes it a very simple way to assign those buses. Now I can also do something called link all. This is great because maybe I have 120 channels. I don't want to go into all these layers and assign the buses. So I select link all, then I hit the select key, and I say I want all the channels to go to stereo bus 4. I select it, and that's it. So when I select the link key again, it then releases the link and none of the faders are linked together anymore. So I go to any channel, any bus assignment, and I can see here that they're all going to Stereo Bus 4. And then finally, there's another way where we can hit multi-select, and when I hold down this button and I select the faders that I want, those specific ones, now they're just linked, those specific ones. It's like a shift control key on a, key on a keyboard. And I say, I just want those guys to go to Stereo Group Bus 4. And that's it.